We here with Ryan Hemsworth. You know what it is. It's allbaymusic.com and exclusive with Ryan. So Ryan, how's it going, man? How's life? Good, man. It's good to be out here for a few days. I'm usually in and out, so I have a little time here. Absolutely, man. So what are you doing right now? You on tour or what's the deal? Yeah, I'm running around. I, I had a show last night. played at uh, Cal Academy. It's part of that nightlife series they've been doing every, uh, every couple of weeks. So I played a headline show there. Um, it's right in the museum, so it's kind of tight to like, walk around and like, see wildlife and then like, walk out. And see right. and, uh, other than that, I've just been running around trying to like put some people onto the new single and yeah, spread the love. Yeah, man, how are you liking the Bay Area? I love it out here, man. It's, <laughs> it's really like the first place that I had kind of a musical connection to, I think. Like, like way back, I'm from like the East Coast, Canada, so like the other part of this. Uh, <laughs> so that's really like, you know, I started producing seven, eight years ago and uh, I was emailing my beats to like main attractions and a lot of artists that were coming up at the same time. Right. So that, that's really like what started my connection with my property. So what was it like working with E-40 on that new record? I mean, I heard the record is dope. Yeah, I mean, working with 40 is like, that's someone that I listened to at home in like middle school. That was just a, a dream to like, uh, that's not even possible. Thinking about it, like, like what can we get on this? Like, it'd be crazy if we got 40. Like, the songs kind of like got a lot of Bay references, whatever. Right. You know, we chased him for a little while, and then one night he just called me up out of the blue and was like, "Deal, going on with the project. What do you want from me?" Right. And I kind of explained where I was coming, from, where I was coming from, and. Uh, and he was down, he got in, like, he was definitely, like, looking at my Instagram at the same time while talking to me. Right. Like, sussing me out a little bit, I think, and then <laughs> I think he got to the idea of all this stuff. And, yeah, the next morning he sent it, all mixed and mastered, and then he got 40 Waters Demand, shouts out to E40. Yeah, shouts to 40. So what is it like making that transition from, you know, your traditional EDM type of, you know, style to working with hip hop? Like, how how is that? How are you, you know, how are you adjusting to that? And what, what does it feel like um, to be dipping over into another area? Yeah, I mean, it's different where else where I'm coming from. Originally, like, I make a lot of electronic music, but I've always tried to, like, work with R&B singers and rappers in some way. Right. Um, but, you know, this year I'm really, like, focusing on that fully, like, I spent, like, all last summer in Atlanta just working out there and then trying to spend more time out here being in person with everybody and making the music in person make a big difference. Right. A lot of people are still stuck on just, like, making a beat, you know, like, somebody or whatever. Right. That's, that's been the biggest part, just, like, getting the music right from there. You know, once people start paying attention, that's great. That's what's up. So, what's what's the future? Like, what what are you looking forward to? Any any other artists you're looking forward to working with? Yeah, I mean, I've been just out here. I've been working with um, P. Lo a little bit, uh, Neff a little bit. Um, got some stuff with Larry June. So definitely a lot of people from the Bay still. It's always good to link up with everybody out here. Um, outside of that, I mean, we got a bunch of my album that's coming up. It's like one to three features on every track. So I'm trying to keep it a lot of different people from a lot of different cities. Keep it lit, right? Yeah, a lot of different cities and countries and everything. So just like, you know, bridging those gaps. Other countries? Mm-hmm. Like? Um, well, I got some producers from Japan. Um, I've been working with uh, a couple of singers out in London as well. So, nice. you know, find like where I can like bridge those gaps and kind of find the music world. Right. The middle of right now. What is it like being on the road so much and balancing like family and home life? It's definitely a challenge in its own way. I, I think when you start doing music, you don't really, you're not told that right. you have to like find this balance of like living as a normal person and you know, being able to be on the road every day, get up, go to the hotel, airport, whatever. Right. Um, yeah, it's a balancing act, but. I'm kind of blessed to be able to actually just travel and see the world and see the people, so can't complain about that. We appreciate you coming to the Bay and bringing us your dope talent. Is there anything else you want to say to, to the people out there, I mean, Any last words? Uh, just uh, keep an eye out for what's coming. Um, so just, you know, we're going to have a lot of singles rolling out in the next few months. So. Yeah. Why don't you drop your social media so people can find you? I'm sure you already got 100 million followers, but you need 200 million. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, I'm on Twitter, 
pretty much everything else. Just at Ryan Hemsworth. Right. On Instagram, it's H E E M S W R T H. So, and you know, shouts out to Tom P. All day music day. I'm out here on the street corner, man, with Ryan Hemsworth, man. We live in the city. You already know what it is. But she tried to hurt me. Keep playing games, girl. Which one you working? You tripping the when you know I'm sorry. No glove.